Stampin' Friends and welcome to my channel. This is Dee Osborne and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm so happy to have you here today. We are going to make this beautiful card that was inspired by Gail Ellis and we're going to do a few different things um, than what her original card was but we're going to use a variety of products and make this card today. So everything that you need to make this card will be listed in the description below as well as all of the measurements. But before we get started, I want to take care of a little bit of business. I am going to do a drawing this month. So anyone who places an order before the end of the month, that would be June 30th of 2022, anyone who places an order will be put in a drawing for the Calming Camellia host set that was part of last celebration. We have a new celebration coming up. Um, it will be starting in July. It will run in July and August. But this was for uh, last celebration. This was the host set and it is just stunning and beautiful. And I have one left to give away. So again, if you place an order, anyone who places an order during the month of June, that's from now until the end of June, June 30th, 2022, will be entered into a drawing, a random drawing for this stamp set and then I will send it to you. So if you are interested in doing that, you can go to dbeststamping.stampinup.net and shop there. You'll see all, all the current uh, product there. That's my online store. So just head on over there, place your order, and you will be entered into the drawing for this beautiful stamp set. All right, let's move on. Let's dive into this card. Okay, this is oh, just such a beautiful card. It's going to use a lot of different product. So let me tell you what we're going to, to use. So um, let's start with um, the stamp sets that we're going to use. We're going to use um, the Very Versailles. This is a retired stamp set. But everything else that we're using um, is current, except for this ribbon. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But all the other stamp sets uh, are um, current. If you don't have this, there are other stamp sets that you can use. I just used this for the background right here. So you could use something different for that element. So it's the very Versailles. I'm going to use that stamp and this one. Okay, so we're using that, and all of this will be listed in the description below. I'm using the Happiness Abound stamp set, and I am using the You Are Wonderful in Every Way sentiment from this stamp set. And we are going to be using the Cup of Tea dies. Um, and it is bundled with the Cup of Tea stamp set. Now I'm not using um, this stamp set, but it's got some cute stamps in it. Let me tell you, I just love that. There's so much that you can do with this bundle. It's just amazing. So let's look at the uh, dies themselves so that you can see what comes with the dies. Let me grab those. Uh, let's see which one is it. It's here we are. The teacup dies. And I've taken, oh no, I've, I've taken them all out. Let me show you. <laughs> I've got them on a magnetic card already. Um, so here's the teacup dies. Um, you get all of these. And we're using this one and this one today. But you get all of these. You see this one cuts out this. And this one cuts out this. And let's see, you've got a couple of uh, little, what do you call those? Um, like tea, you know, the little thing that goes on the end of your tea bag to, so that, you know, you can steep it and pull it and dunk it. <laughs> uh, and there's a stamp that goes with that. So here's all the stamps and then there's the dies. Really cute dies. So many things that you can do with this. I've seen so many cute cards with this. 
Uh, you can use this one to cut out designer series paper and make the cutest little teacup. All right, so that's that one. Uh, that's the teacup dies. We're also going to use the ornate frames dies. And um, this is a retired die set. It's this one right here. But you can look, you can go to the catalog and um, find some really great dies that would work in its place. I think, uh, let's see, I marked this page. Um, well, here's the teacup dies. Here's the, the bundle. Okay, this is on page 162 of the annual catalog. But I was thinking that if you used, let's see, um, let's go over to the dies. If you don't have the ornate frames, you could use the Eden dies because they both they have that same kind of element. Uh, and or you could just use uh, a, a rectangle, a stitched rectangle. That would work just as well. So lots of different ones in here that you could choose from. The scalloped contours, lots of pretty dies. So if you don't have this one, there's lots more to choose from. But I did use the ornate uh, frames dies, and like I said, it is a retired die set, um, and I used this one. Okay, so you can see that a little bit better. I used that one. Okay, all right, let's see, what else? Let's go through all of the things that we used. Um, I did also use the Stylish Shapes dies, and if you don't have that ornate labels, you could use one of these. I used a, the, a circle, it's the second to last circle, um, and that is for this element right here. But you could use one of these for this sentiment, and it would be beautiful. So you could just get this one, or if you have it, then just use it. So this would be a great die set to use. It's called Stylish Shapes. And all of this will be in the description below. Uh, okay, uh, what else? Oh yes, I used the Meadow dies. Mm, one of my favorites. So you get all kinds of nice wispy um, dies that you can cut out, and those make all of these elements. Okay. Uh, I also used. Uh, let's talk about paper. Okay. I used this beautiful paper, the Sun Prince paper. Let's take a look at that. I used this piece, which is the other side of that one. Let's look at all this paper. There's this one. I almost used that one, but I really liked the other one. So, and that's the other side of that one. Then there's this beautiful piece. Look at that. Oh, let's turn it so you can actually see all the beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. And that's the other side of that one. There's that. And there's the other side of that one. Then there's this beautiful blue piece. And that's the other side of that one. And then there's this one. I love that. Nice and wispy. And then I almost used this paper, but since I was using the very Versailles, um, I didn't use this one. I thought it was too much alike. And then here's the piece that I used. And the other side of that is this. So this is a beautiful designer series paper set. Um, just absolutely love that paper. And so I used just a little piece of that for down here. And um, for the ribbon, I used, this is a retired ribbon. It's petal pink, but there is a current petal pink. It doesn't have the metallic edge on it, but that's okay. It will be beautiful on your card if you don't have this petal pink metallic edge ribbon. So there's that that I used. And then there's this, um, this designer series paper. So let's look at that. So this came from the Hues of Happiness paper, and it is such stunning paper. I absolutely love it. So I took this piece right here, and I fussy cut out um, some of these flowers. You see? It was very easy to cut out. I didn't have any problem fussy cutting those out at all. You have to kind of choose ones that aren't overlapped by another one. 
but other than that, it's super easy. So there's the other side of that one. Then there's this beautiful paper. Isn't that gorgeous? There's the other side of that one. Then there's this. And the other side is that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, I love it. And you could use this paper too. You could cut some of these flowers out. You don't have to use um, that, this particular one, because um, it's they're kind of they have the same flowers on them. So you can you can cut um, these flowers out if you want. Okay. Then there's this paper, and there's the other side of that one. And then here's another one. You could cut some of these flowers out as well because they're they're the same flowers these might be a little harder to cut out because they're overlapping fairly a lot and there's the other side of that one but i can't wait to use this piece and just use it as a background paper just as a card front paper right so beautiful so i just took that and i cut those flowers out so pretty so easy all right, and uh, now I think we're ready to start stamping and cutting. So let's do that. Let me move this stuff to the side and pull in our um, our pieces that I've I've prepped most of this for you already. Um, so let's look at it. So I started with a piece of gray granite because that is the color that's in the sun prints paper. That's the coordinating color. So I started with a piece of gray granite and it is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm gonna zoom out, oops, wrong way. <laughs> Just a touch so that we um, can get more in our frame. Let's focus. Okay, so now I'm a little bit further away so I can have more in my frame. All right, so eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Take it, you fold it in half, get your bone folder, give it a nice crisp fold. Okay, then you're going to get a piece of basic white cut at five and a quarter by four and you're going to glue that on the inside and that is where you're going to write your message. Okay. Put that in there and let that dry while we do the next thing to our card. All right. Now we're going to take another piece of basic white cut at five and a quarter by four because we're going to orient our card like this. But we don't want to glue this down to our card base yet because we want to put this on and we want to do a couple of other things. But before we glue our designer series paper on there, we're going to do a little bit of stamping on here. So I used the Stamparatus. So let's move this kind of out of our way so that we don't get ink or anything on it, okay? Bring in our Stamparatus. So this is the stamp from the Very Versailles. The Stamparatus is awesome because it makes sure that you stamp things straight and it, um, it's just a great tool. Um, and if you want to stamp things twice, you, it stays in the same spot, so you don't have to worry about it. So before I place this on my Stamparatus, I want to stamp off because on this one, on this card, I did not stamp off. And I was thinking, how nice would it be if it was just a little softer? So we're going to try that on this card. So I'm going to get my gray granite ink pad. Open that up, my gray granite, gray granite ink pad. And I'm going to ink up the stamp. Now what I did was to place this, I just put my card down, okay? And I put my magnet on it so it would hold it. And I put this stamp on here where I wanted it. And then I closed this on top of it and then it stuck to this. So now it's set and ready to go, right? All right, so now we're going to ink that up. So let's ink it up. I'm going to ink it up real nice. Put my hand behind it so it has a little bit of resistance so that I get a nice coverage. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna ink it up real good. And then, let me close my ink pad. Don't wanna put my arm in it, right? I'm gonna stamp it off. And so this is just a scratch paper on here. So I'm just going to stamp it. Okay, then I'm gonna take this away because I don't want that. I don't want that one. And I'm gonna put my, my um, card in here. And remember, it's oriented this way. So I'm gonna line it up with um, my, I put some grid paper in here so that I could have some nice lines. Lined it up there, I'm gonna hold it down with my magnet so that it doesn't move. And then I'm just going to lay it down and stamp it. And we'll get that on there and open it up and look at that. It's so, so much softer than the first time. I like that. I think it's, uh, it works out good. So then we'll put that to the side. I'll clean that later. Actually, to clean that, a couple of tips on cleaning your stamparatus. You can use a stamp cleaning pad if you have one of these, or you can just use a chamois um, in, a, in a case. You don't want to store this wet because it'll mold, but if you just wet this, I'll show you. You just wet this, it just... Look at that, it just wipes that clean. And then if, once this your chamois gets too dirty, um, you can just put it under the water and clean it. It works out so nicely. So there you go. I see a little bit of dirt right there. I'll clean that off. All right, so then you put this back in your case and you wanna leave it open until this dries. So do all your stamping and then leave it open. The next day, come and close it. Otherwise, you know, wet tends to mold, right? So you don't want that to happen or mildew. All right, so now I have this um, and I have my, bring my card base back in. I have this piece of the Sun Prints Designer Series paper and I have cut this uh, at five and a quarter by one and three quarters. So it's five and a quarter by one and three quarters. And I'm just going to glue that down to the bottom. So let's do that. Okay. Boy, my paper just doesn't want to stay still today. <laughs> This is going all over the place. All right, let's uh, glue this down. Okay. Make sure that's nice and straight. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our ribbon on there. And if you have the metallic edge ribbon, great. If you don't, uh, use what you have. Or get the uh, petal pink, current petal pink ribbon, which I think will be beautiful on there as well. Uh, so there's that. So the way I like to put these down is I like to use glue dots. Some people use glue. Some people use tape. It really, it's your preference. I like glue dots. So we're going to get some glue dots out. And all I do is I just press that um, down, pull that glue dot up, get another glue dot out, press it on there, pull it up, and I got my glue dots. And then I'm just going to take this card base or card front. I'm gonna put my ribbon on here, place it where I want it, just like this. See, there's my edge, so I'm gonna pull it, push that up just a touch. And then all I have to do is turn it over like that. Then I'm gonna make sure I have it nice and straight. Okay, and then I just fold it over and it sticks. Isn't that nice? Okay, so now I have that. Now I can glue this down to my card front. I mean, my card base. So let's do that. All right. Make sure you put your ribbon on there first. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and I put... <laughs> I Oops, touch that glue. And sometimes I... I you know, glue my card front down and then I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot to put the card base on there or the card front. I forgot to put the ribbon. I can't talk today. I'm just, all right. So then we're gonna do that. All right. So yeah, make sure you put your ribbon on there before you glue that down so that 
uh, you're not stuck going, ah, how do I get my ribbon on there now? <laughs> okay, I've done that. All right, so here we go. All right, so now I have all these things that I cut out. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to put my teapot together and let that start to dry. And this is, you have to be really careful when you do this not to put too much glue or it'll ooze out. So you're just going to put tiny, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here. Just tiny little dots of glue is all we're going to put. Just tiny little dots. Get my glue going, there we go. Itty bitty little dots, just tap it along here, along the edge. Um, you can put a little bit bigger glue dots where the space is bigger, but you wanna make sure that any any end, it has a little bit of glue on it or else it'll, you know, it'll pop up. Um, oops, Ooh, that would have been bad, wouldn't it? So let's hold it right here. I'll put a little bit of glue, a little more glue right there. And okay, so then, put some right there. We're gonna turn it over. And what I did was I started at the bottom. Okay, so I just held my teacup and I started at the bottom and then it really fits on there nicely. You can just kinda, you know, use your fingers on the edges to make sure that you have it on there the way it belongs. And you can turn it over and press it down. And then make sure there's no spots where it's popping up, right? So, and then what I like to do, because I'm sure there are little pieces of glue um, on there, is I just dropped it down into my, <laughs> my glitter. And anywhere that... Um, there was excess glue, glitter stuck to it. How fun is that, right? And I am going to obviously glitter it later on. Any of you who, who follow me know that uh, that's like I can't do without my glitter, right? All right, so I have that. Then I thought the best thing for me to do next is to go ahead and put a glue dot on here and put this flower on there. So I took the glue dot and I put it on the corner of the um, cup. All right. So I'm taking that glue dot and I'm just going to put it right there on the corner of the cup. And then I'm going to put this on there just like that. Okay. So here's, here's our, you know, uh, the first one that we did. We can push that down just a little bit more, I think. Yeah, okay. So we have that on there. That way you can kind of see what you're doing with it, you know, when it's on there. So the next thing I did was I used glue dots to put my circle. Now this is gray granite. And again, I used the, uh, what are they called? Stylish shapes dies to cut this out. I use this second to biggest round one and I'm going to use glue dots to put it down. I, I like the glue dots on this because it um, you know, it pops it up just a tiny bit. Not really but ever so slightly. It's just not quite as flat. So I'm just pressing this round down on the glue dot pulling it up. Okay and I put four glue dots on the back of this. Okay, and I'm just going to put that right about there. You know, I just left about that much space on the right and that much on the bottom. I wanted it kind of close to my writing, and there we go. And then this sentiment, I stamped it. It's always best to stamp and then cut because if you <laughs> stamp it, if you cut it out and stamp it and it's crooked, well, then it's crooked, right? But if you stamp it, then you can put, it doesn't matter if it's crooked because you can put the die on there to make sure that it fits in there straight. So I like to do uh, the stamping first and then the cutting. So I'm putting a little bit of glue on the back of that. I'm just going to lift this ever so slightly and push that under there where I want it. Okay, I'm going to have to 
undo it right there. It's stuck to my ribbon. There we go. All right. Probably should have put the sentiment down first, right? But that's okay. All right, so we put that on, push that back down. Might need another glue dot right under there. So let's go ahead and do that. Just put a little glue dot under there. There we go. All right. We are, we are moving along, moving and shaking here. All right. So now I have this. And I don't want to put this down for uh, first. I want to wait to put that down. I want to put these things down. And I will clip them after I get them kind of placed. So what I did was I put glue along here, right? And it's okay if it oozes out, okay? Because uh, you're going to have the tea, the cup over that. So I'm just kind of going to give it a look-see, okay? Because I'm thinking I'm going to put it right about there. So let's pull that up. The glue gives you that little bit of mobility. And it's okay if it sticks out because we're going to clip that off. So we'll put that just right there, okay? Um, and then let's look. Um, we want this next. So I, what I'm going to do is put a glob of glue in the center. And then I want this to be um, kind of right about there. And we'll look. Let's see what we think. I'm thinking let's tilt it out just a little bit. What do you say? Yeah? Okay. I think that's about right. And then we're going to put... Um, Maybe not quite so much tilted out. I think I like this long one to go right about there. Oops, to go right about there. Okay, let's let's check it out. Yeah, I like that. And then I want this one. I'm running out of glue, so I think I'll put a little more glue right there. I want this one to kind of tilt over this way a little bit. So let's look. So if I put that right there, let's push this one down just a little bit. Maybe we don't need quite that much poking out. Maybe about right there. About like that. Right? Okay. So about like that. So we're push that down in the in there. Let that kind of dry. In the meantime, we're going while well, that's kind of drying and setting, and it's okay. We'll clip. We're going to clip those off that are sticking out, but we kind of want it to set a little bit. So while we're waiting, I'm going to get my elegant trim in gold, and I'm going to use just two fingers, and I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times. One, two, three, four. Say four times. Let's go four times. Uh, maybe five times. We'll go one more time. Bring it to there. And then you're going to snip that off. Okay. And you're going to hold that and then kind of play with it a little bit. Make those different lengths and kind of shapes. Um, so that when you put it on there, you know, it's not just one giant ball of stuff. <laughs> you know? Okay. I kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tear and tape, all right, and I'm going to just pull a little piece of tear and tape off, and I'm going to go to about right there, and I'm going to tear it, and we'll probably um, tear more of that off, but I'm only going to put it on the edge right there, right where I'm where I'm holding this together. stick a little better. I think I want that one longer. So, and that's I that's what I like about the tear and tape. You can kind of play around with it. All right. So, then I've got the the um gold trim and I want to think about how I want it to look. Um so I don't want to see that. So, I'm going to have to put it down here a little bit more like that. Okay. So, I'm going to trim it very close to that little edge. Okay. Yeah, 
I like that. Okay. Um, I'm put just a. I'm not. I, I mean, I could take that off, I guess, and, and attach it to my. Yeah, let's do that. We'll attach it to the. Um, I could turn it over, couldn't I? <laughs> that would make sense. Let's turn it over, uh, and we'll put it. We'll attach it to the back of the teacup, just like that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right. I think this one needs to come down just a little bit more. You can just play with it and make it exactly how you want it. I want to pull this one, make it a little shorter. Oops. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate with you, and so sometimes you just have to say, all right, I like it like it is. And I think I do. So we're going to do that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. So now for this piece, we're going to put... Um, dimensionals on the back of it because we want this piece the the teacup we want it to be popped up so i'm going to take my dimensionals and i'm going to put one on the flower there and i want to put one on the flower there i want to put one on the teacup there we'll put one on the teacup there okay and we'll put one at the bottom of the teacup. And then we're going to just take a little snip of dimensional and put it on that handle. Okay. If you have tweezers, that's great. Sometimes, you know, I, I'm like, well, I, I have tweezers, but I also have my scissors right there, and they work, they work really well. <laughs> So rather than, oh, where's my tweezers and I have to go look for them, I just use that. All right, so now we're going to think about what we're going to trim off that's sticking out because it's probably set pretty good. It's not dry, but it will dry. So I'm going to probably put it about right there. So I want to trim off all this. trim off all that and we don't need this pink one so we'll trim that one off too okay I like it all right let's take our dimensionals off the or not take them off but take the backs off Okay, so now I've pushed, taken those dimensionals off and pushed this down onto the card. Um, yeah, look how beautiful that looks. So now I'm going to get the po some polished dots. And these, I love these. These are polished dots. And they're retiring soon, but they are on sale right now for $5.25. So what a great deal for that. So I'm going to get me some extras of those because I love them. So now we're going to put some of these on there. So I'm going to grab my pick tool so that I can take these off. And I love the pick tool. It just like pushes that right off of the paper and picks it up perfectly. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right here. And we're going to see, how do you make, the only thing I don't know, I don't use this very often is, how do you get more, there we go, you get more of that putty stuff. So we'll get one, and we'll put it right here. And I want a big one, and we'll put the big one, <laughs> it's stuck, we'll put the big one right there, I don't want the putty with it. Okay, let's try that again. Turn that over. Turn over. I have one stuck to my finger. Look at that. Well, I'm struggling with this big one. I'll just put that down on there using my fingers. Maybe. <laughs> Hi. Okay, let's. How about we get a new, a new one? How about that? <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah, oh, that worked out perfect that time. Okay, now I'll get that one that stuck to my finger out of here. Good grief. <laughs> I feel like a sticky mess. Okay, 
All right, so I did that. Let's look at it. One, two, three, four. I did five of them. Okay, now we get to put our glitter on there. So we get our glue a or two way glue pen, and we're just going to put some glue on the white parts of the teacup. We're going to put some glue in the center here and um, on the flower in the little, you know, accent spots where the petals come together. We'll put some glue on all these wispy little pieces. Um, remember, you don't want to glue these wispy pieces down because you want them to be wispy, right? All right. So we'll do that. Put some glue on the little flowers here. So pretty. And maybe a little bit on the leaves. Okay, let's glitter it up. I love glitter. Oh boy, I'm excited. My favorite thing. Now this is just fine glitter. Um, and you can get it pretty much anywhere. You can get it at Michael's or Amazon. It's just fine glitter, you know, so anywhere. Um, all right, so then I'll take my little Dollar Tree makeup brush and brush away any excess glitter that's on there. Oh, I love it. Oh, it came out so good. Hang on, let me um, put this away so I don't end up spilling glitter everywhere. All right, let's look at it. Oh, my goodness. Glitter. I don't know, can you see the glitter? Isn't it pretty? There we go. All right, so we have the two cards that we made today um, with the glitter and the blushing bride. I'm not sure I said that, but this is blushing bride cardstock. Blushing Bride cardstock, right? And then this is your Grey Granite cardstock. All right, so don't forget, go to um, deebeststamping.stampinup.net and if you are interested, uh, place an order and you will be entered into a drawing for, um, what did I do with it? For the Calming Camellia stamp set, which is, um, can't seem to find it now. <laughs> it was a host set for the um, last celebration that we had, and you will be entered into a drawing for that stamp set. Um, and I will draw out a name at the end of the month on June 30th, and that's 2022. So, um, and so good luck. I hope that you win. I hope, I wish I had enough to give for everyone. So, um, I hope that you have enjoyed this card and come back and see me. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.